Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Shauna from Created and Made, and today I'm gonna show you guys how I altered my crackled foil technique and used it to make what I'm calling shattered prints. Now, <laughs> these look just how they are titled, meaning they look like shattered glass or shattered vase or something like that, but in these wonderful alcohol ink colors. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I was able to accomplish this look. Fun stuff ahead, stay tuned. So this technique starts off with gilding sheets. Now these are five and a half inch by five and a half inch gold gilding sheets that can be found on Amazon. There will be links in the description. Now, if you haven't checked out my shattered foil video, I'll link it up top. You should check that one out too because I went over in detail a lot of this technique in that video. And this is just sort of a remix of that technique. So make sure you check that one out too. So what you see me doing here is I flattened my gilding sheets onto my five by seven inch gel plate and now I'm putting cracks in the gilding sheets. Now I want the cracks because that is where our alcohol ink is going to live. So I have bent up the gel plate a bit and got some cracks in there now i'm gonna go in with my alcohol ink but first you saw me spray some isopropyl alcohol on top before i did the alcohol ink that just helps everything move around a little bit better and get into those cracks that's what we want we want the alcohol ink to get into those cracks and grooves because that's how we're going to get our shattered glass effect on our prints now i'm adding a good bit of alcohol ink and then i went back in and sprayed it again with the isopropyl and finally i got myself out a paintbrush and i am just gently tapping the alcohol ink into the cracks now you want to be gentle because this foil will move it will pull up if you're not gentle so i'm gently pushing that ink into the cracks and in places where I felt the colors were unbalanced I just added a little bit more alcohol ink and then I went in with my heat tool because this needs to be completely dry before you pull the print now this is how I'm going to pull this I'm not going to um pull it like a normal gel print I just want to get some wet paint on there to pull that foil off so I'm putting my titanium white onto another gel plate and I'm actually going to apply the paint to the paper first and then apply the paper to our um, foiled plate now I'm not gonna let this sit let it dry any of that I'm going to give it a little bit of contact time and then I'm gonna pull that up and as you can see I got a good bit of that foil off and what we're gonna be left with are the cracks and that's exactly what I want so you saw that foiled part of the print that is perfectly usable too because it's really beautiful as well so now we're gonna go in and actually pull this print off the way we would normally pull a gel print I'm using my titanium white I'm rolling out a really thin layer I have my card stock on top and I'm going to let that dry before I pull it and as you can see ta -da, we have our shattered glass effect now we also have some bonus foil in there that gives the print some shimmer some shine some interest and I really um, love how this technique works and I love how these prints came out now what you're going to see me do now is just uh, a couple different colored prints but it's all really the same technique so I'm going to I actually sped this up a little bit and I am not going to talk over all of this I'm going to put some music on and let you guys enjoy the rest of it but it's really just two different iterations of what you just saw and I'm using some different colored alcohol inks and I'm going to go ahead and get a couple different prints that are in this same genre. So I'll let you guys check that out. I'll be back at the end.
Okay, now we have our um, recap of the prints that we made today. Now, some of these you didn't see me make. I did them off camera. But as you can see, we have many, many shattered prints that um, are beautiful. I really, really like this effect. I think that it is stunning and in the right application can really... Um, sort of make your mixed media art journals cards it can really add something special to them now I've gotten to the end of the prints and I'm looking for my favorites I think these two are definitely my favorites let me know which ones you like in the comments I hope you guys liked this video and if you did please go ahead and leave a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button I hope to see you guys next time and in the meantime keep creating and making Bye-bye.